JT Inspires is a charity that I've been involved with over the past 18 months to two years. Uh, I met Jonathan Tate when he was a young boy as a Glentoran fan when I was playing for Glentoran and uh, subsequently met his father many years later who um, obviously has initiated this charity and uh, had asked me to be a patron of the charity and I think it's a it's an amazing thing what they're trying to do here to raise funds to, to make life better for, for children that have this uh, congenital heart disease and uh, give them you know hope after the particularly after they've had obviously uh, transplant surgery. You know, this is what JT Inspires is about. It's, it's providing the, the finance and being able to change the lives of people who have uh, you know, suffered from this condition. Jonathan was involved in a piece of research here at the Royal conducted by Dr Frank Casey and a number of other cardiologists, which was looking at the impact of physical fitness on young people with congenital heart disease. Jonathan was one of the participants, and that piece of research showed conclusively that motivating and improving the physical fitness of young people with congenital heart disease aged 15 to 25 improved their quality of life. We are funding a new research project for which we've purchased the exercise bicycle which is medically adapted costing four and a half thousand pounds. Uh, over the last uh, few years um, my colleague Dr Casey here in the children's department did carry out a study looking at young adults and teenagers with congenital heart disease and the, the benefits of physical and uh, the physical benefits, sorry, and uh, psychological benefits of a graduated exercise program. Um, and now they're extending that work, really looking at uh, younger children between the ages of five and fifteen with congenital heart disease, and again looking uh, for benefits in, in doing some exercise. And really, we want to encourage young people after they've had different operations or interventions to get back to things. You know, to enjoy getting outside riding their bike or whatever it might be, obviously under the advice of us as cardiologists, um, but we know there are benefits and we want to encourage that. A great example is Ryan, who's here today. It's really all about Ryan and, and young people like him who have gone through major uh, operations and indeed, as you know, he's had a heart transplant and yet wants to get back to it. The wheelchair for him is a great gift and I think it does bring a lot of hope. What they're doing with the charity, not only for me, but for the congenital patients up here is just you know it's so amazing they've, they've, they've got me this sport wheelchair um, when I met them they had asked you know did I need anything or you know was I interested in anything to start I was like oh I'll just I'll just help you out whenever you need me and then they came back and asked what about sport wheelchair because they knew I was doing you know wheelchair basketball and wheelchair hurling I said that might, be, that not be, might not be a bad idea so they went out and you know they got the chair. This is going to help so much to me and it's going to help so much other people from the bikes.